Hello YouTube, it is Mr. Android HQ. And a while back, I asked for some suggestions. Somebody asked that I compare the operating systems. So I found this really great chart at redmanpie.com. It's basically comparing iOS with Android with Windows Mango. Um, now, obviously the most popular here is iOS. It is on most devices. But Android is catching up. Uh, Windows is kind of doing its own little thing back there in the background. Um, never really broke out. Uh, but it it's most likely going to die when Android 5 is released uh, because Android 5 will be compatible on desktop computers. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. So basically, um, iOS is a product of Apple, Android is a product of Google, and Mango is a product of Windows. Um, the They both support all uh, global networking things, GSM and CDMA, um, so they support all carriers, although Apple is not available on some because of contract issues. Uh, multitasking on the operating systems is very nice on Android and on Windows Mango. On Android you get a little box uh, that shows what you're doing and it has a dedicated multitasking button. On uh, Windows Mango I'm not sure the case, I'm not as familiar with Windows. But on Apple, I know that you have to either double-click the home button or press and hold it, whatever you set it to. Uh, but it only shows the app icon. It does not show what you were doing. So multitasking is better on Android and Windows. They all support copying, cutting, pasting, all that support uh, kind of stuff. Um, but here on Apple, it is only supported on Apple's devices. You know, iPhone, iPod, iPad, stuff like that. Whereas Ice Cream Sandwich is supported on tons of devices, phones, tablets, all over from all sorts of companies. Uh, the same thing with Windows, although there are not as many Windows phones and Windows tablets as Android. Um, iOS is obviously very secure, but there is a downside. They do not support Flash, um, whereas Apple and Windows Mango both support Flash. Um, of course, they are not as secure. But you can always download a antivirus software, so no big deal there. As far as getting media to and from your device, it is very uh, tried to be simplified by iTunes, but for many people, iTunes is more of a hassle than it is a help. Um, so that can be a downside, unless you do like it, then it can be a positive. Whereas with the Google, you can do everything from the phone directly. You never need to plug it in. You can download stuff from the Android market. Uh, very easily, just like iTunes has the app market. Um, but transferring files to and from the computer, all you need to do is open the file manager, drag and drop whatever you want. It's that easy. Um, and then with the Windows Mango, it has the Zoom and it has the uh, Windows Store for apps. Um, and it's got a kind of similar uh, setup when you plug into the computer as Android. Uh, social media, nobody cares. The Music Store, uh, iTunes, obviously. Uh, it doesn't say here, but the Google Play Store, which is now the Google Market. Um, it has music, even though it doesn't say, and they have Zune, obviously. Uh, as far as games, as in apps, uh, the App Store is in the lead with something like 500 million apps. Uh, Android is catching up very quick, and uh, Windows is, well, it's back there. It's got a lot of apps, but definitely not as many as Android or Apple. Uh, Apple is in the lead, though. Um, with social gaming, as in, you know, connecting the games uh, and sharing your scores all in one app with friends, Apple has the Game Center, uh, Microsoft has Xbox Live, and that's a little bit different. It's not the same as Game Center, but uh, no big deal there. Just different base. Um, Android does not have anything like that, though. For the internet browsers built in, uh, iOS has mobile Safari, um, kind of expected. Android has a Chrome-based mobile desktop, or not desktop, browser, uh, which you'd kind of expect there. And uh, Windows devices have Internet Explorer 9, which is really what you'd expect. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I messed up back there. Windows and Apple do not have Flash. I, before I said flat, uh, Windows supports Flash, they actually don't. Uh, my apologies. So Android is the only one that supports Flash. Um, again, I'm sorry. I am not as familiar with Windows as I am with 
uh, iOS and Android. Um, so Flash, obviously, you can watch all your videos in browser. No need to go into a uh, secondary or third-party application to watch YouTube videos. Um, stuff like this over here will play, all that kind of stuff. So Flash is definitely a great thing to have. Um, the default search engines are Google for Android and iOS and Bing for Microsoft. If you know what Bing stands for, it stands for because it's not Google. Um, so it's kind of funny, they both use Google and they use because it's not Google. Uh, but blah blah blah, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so now as far as the home screen setup goes. On iOS, you get, I believe it is nine pages, uh, but all you can put on there is icons. If you scroll all the way to the left, you get a search bar. Um, but that's about it. You can make folders. With Android, you get icons and widgets. There's only five pages, but you can, you have the app drawer which keeps everything there, so you don't have to put all your apps on the home screens. Uh, and it also supports widgets, which are things like, uh, it shows the weather, it shows your battery level, um, it can be toggles, it can be your emails, which you can scroll through. Um, so interactive stuff on the home page, which is very nice to have. Windows is a very similar setup, but they have something called Live Tiles. Now, as far as the productivity suite, as far which means uh, basically your Word documents, Excel documents, um, Apple has iWork, Android has Google Docs, and this has Office Mobile. So really, whichever you prefer is whichever is the best. They all have voice recognition software, and they uh, blah blah blah. The iOS and Android both have Voice Assistant, even though it doesn't say it here. Um, obviously, everybody knows iOS as Siri, which has its own personality. But this actually has voice commands, which has been around for years, and nobody, and I mean nobody, uh, gives it credit. It's been around since way before Siri. And basically, you can tell it to do the same things as Siri, um, but it's not an app, it's just kind of a background thing. Uh, if you hold down the search button, it will show up a mic and you just say what you want it to do, it'll do it. Um, it doesn't have like a personality like Siri does, so that's why many people kind of ignore it. They all have Wi-Fi, and they all have uh, Wi-Fi syncing. They all are supported on tablets, even though it says it's not. Um, I'm not sure about that, um, but the, you can get uh, Windows tablets. Um, there are updates for all of them, and they are currently all over-the-air updates. Before they were not, but um, iOS has been updated, so now it's over-the-air like the others. Um, cloud support, you know, iOS has iCloud. Uh, Google has Google Sync, which is pretty nice, and you don't really even have to set it up. Um, it just automatically syncs all of your pictures and stuff to your Google account, um, and it also automatically downloads it. Uh, over, well, it doesn't download it. It creates shortcuts to it on all of your devices. So you have to be connected to Wi-Fi or Internet to view those things, um, but they're, they're there, so it's good. And Windows has SkyDrive. Not sure exactly how that works, but um, it, again, I'm not as familiar with Windows. Alright, the uh, apps, just so you know, those stats are off, but um, I will get to that. Customization. Apple is very, very limited, even with jailbreaking. It's still pretty limited, uh, but again, jailbreaking voids warranty. Uh, iOS is always coming out with ways to counter jailbreaking, stuff like that to make it difficult. Android, on the other hand, you can customize it however the hell you want to customize it, and you can root it, which uh, gives root access, which gives more permissions uh, to even more customization, and Android doesn't go out they don't go out of their way to try to stop people from hacking the device that they bought. Um, you know, quite honestly, if you buy it, why should the company care what you do to it? Um, so I don't understand why Apple is so against jailbreaking, but whatever, that's their problem, not mine. And uh, Windows, you can customize it a little bit. I don't know why it says none at all, um, but it is definitely not as customizable as Android. It's probably on a similar basis as um, iOS. Now as far as apps, iOS has more than half a million, or not half a million, half a billion. Um, I believe Android has more than 400 million, not 250, so ignore that. And as you can see, Windows is way down there. 
I believe they're actually at about 100,000, but I'm not sure. Uh, these two, as far as notification bars, have a pull-down style notification bar. Um, and this has toast. I have no clue what that means. Um, so if you are looking into Windows tablets, you will have to research it a little on your own. Um, they all have hardware acceleration. Uh, iOS and Android have the ability to take screenshots very simply. Uh, Windows phones do not yet. They also, these two have bookstores. Um, again, it's Google Play store for this. It's all unified now. Um, iOS has iBooks. And they all have software, or at least software you can down download to read ebooks. And wireless cloud backup. Uh, yes, 5 gigabytes free. Google actually has does have it, and theirs is pretty much unlimited. You're not really going to hit the cap very easily. I'm not sure how big it is, though. Um, the, the Windows operating systems, on the other hand, do not. So as you can see, there is a ton of differences between these three. Uh, these are, as you can tell, the three main operating systems on devices nowadays. So really, it's a matter of preference. Um, also, something not mentioned here is stability. iOS and Windows are very, very stable. Android is very stable too, however, depending on the device, depending on the updates, it is sometimes not as stable, meaning it might crash, you know, once or twice a year, very not, not very often. Um, and you may need to reboot it like once a week if you don't, just to kind of start fresh. Um, but um, it has gotten a lot better over the years. Some people just still think of it as crashing all the time. That is not true. Android has improved a lot. So um, it is definitely better than it used to be. Uh, as far as my personal favorite, I would go with Android because it is the most customizable. You can do the most with it, and because I like uh, Google's features and the things they give you. Other people may prefer iOS or Windows, but it's all a matter of personal choice, and uh, also the devices that it's available on. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this helpful. Here's a uh, poll. So as you can see, most people do prefer iOS. Um, not as many ice cream sandwich or Windows, but uh, the stats were slightly modified to favor iOS, so really these two should be a little higher, but that doesn't matter. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, if you are still watching, which I doubt many people are, but um, I am just going to let you know that I am doing a giveaway of the silicon case for an Asus transformer, and that will be starting in a few days. Um, if you want to know exactly when that video goes up, telling you how to enter, you can subscribe, um, since you have to be subscribed to win anyway. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.